वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर थर्टी सेवन ऑफ द सीरीज अनरियल फाइव फॉर आर्क्विज एंड इन दिस लेक्चर विल क्रिएट अ करटेंस ब्लोइंग एनिमेशन इन साइड ब्लैंडर एंड देन विल इम्पोर्ट एट एनिमेशन इन अनरियल ओके सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड अल ओपन ब्लैंडर एंड लेट्स हाइड दीज टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स अल सेलेक्ट दिस करटेन अल मूव दिस ऑन एक्स एक्सेस अल ब्रिंग दिस डाउन टू वन एंड अल अप्लाई द सब डिवीजन सर्फिस मोडिफायर Now I'll go into the front view. I'll go into the edit mode, and I'll select these vertices. And I'll go into my object data properties. I'll remove this previous group. I'll add a new one, and now I'll assign these vertices to this group. Okay. Yeah. Now I'll go into the top view, and let's add wind force field. Okay. I'll move this and place it right here. Yeah. Now I'll rotate this on x-axis by negative ninety. Maybe fractionally rotate this on x, like that. Yeah. Yes. Let's open the timeline. and i want this animation to end at 500 frames okay let's jump to frame number 80 and i'll increase the wind strength to 5000 i'll add a keyframe okay now i'll jump to frame number 160 and i'll bring this down to 2500 and i'll add a keyframe Now I'll jump to frame number two forty. I'll press Control C on my keyboard to copy these keyframes, and I'll place them in my timeline. Similarly, I'll jump to frame number four hundred, and I'll press Control V on my keyboard to save these keyframes. Okay. And now I'll select this curtain. Let's jump to frame number one. And I'll add a cloth simulation. And in here, I'll pin the group of those vertices. I'll enable self cleanse, and I'll bring this distance down to the minimum possible value. Yeah. Okay. Let's now run the simulation. I'll pause the simulation and let's see how this curtain is reacting to the spring force. Okay. Yeah, I think this is okay. Let's jump back to frame number one, and I'll select my wind force field. Let's jump to frame number four eighty, and I'll bring this down to zero, and I'll apply a keyframe. Okay, let's jump to frame number one. I'll select this curtain, and I'll bring this value up to five hundred. Okay. Yeah. Let's now run the simulation. And see how our curtains look from the inside. Okay, so yeah, everything is fine except for this part. Our curtains are going through the surface. We'll deal with this problem inside Unreal. For now, let's export this curtain animation. Make sure your curtain is selected. I'll go into File, Export, Alembic, okay, and I'll select the folder in which I want to save my ABC file. I'll rename this as Curtains Animation, and I'll select this option, Selected Objects, and I'll unselect this Normals option, okay. I'll uncheck these two boxes, and let's export the Alembic file. Let's now go back in Unreal Engine and import this animation. 
okay so here i am in unreal let's go into the content folder i'll create a new folder i'll rename this as animations and let's now import the animation i'll select my abc file and i'll open it make sure you change this to geometry cache our animation is starting at frame number 0 ending at 500 and i'll check these two boxes yeah now if you're a 3ds max user you need to set the scale at 1 and rotation at 0 for all three axes okay but if you're a blender user you need to set the scale at 100 and the x rotation at negative 90 and the z rotation at 180 okay let's now click on import button okay now i'll select this curtain and i'll delete it and now i'll select this window and i'll move this on x axis okay yeah Now I'll select this geometry cache and I'll drag this into my scene. Let's move this on Y axis. cannot set the midpoint of this object at the center or at the bottom because this is not a static mesh it's a geometry cache okay yeah I'll move this on X axis. Yeah. Let's fractionally scale this down on Z. Now I'll search for this material in my content browser and I'll apply this material on this curtain. Okay. Yeah. Let's see how our animation looks in Unreal. I'll click on this play button. And then we'll use those models for this picture. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, let me select all of the objects, not just the scale of the space. And as you can see that we have a very nice animation. Just let me set the pivot point here. Let me disable the audio. Okay, let's now play the animation. And then we'll use those models for this picture. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, let me this one actually. And let's now play the animation. And as you can see that we have a very nice curtain blowing animation in our scene. Okay. Yeah. If 
you are unable to move through this window, this is because Unreal have generated the collisions by default. Okay, we'll deal with this in the collisions section. So yes, that's it for this lecture. And in the next lecture, we'll download some models of the fruits and vegetables, and then we'll use physics animation inside Unreal Engine to drop those fruits and vegetables in a basket. Okay. So yes, I'll see you guys in the next one.